So I'm Sandy. I now live in a swimsuit 24 seven. And because the only person that I talk to is now my partner Sang, in order to do him a favor, I'm gonna share an email with you guys. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys want me to cover any topics, email me. That way I have new people to talk to. There are people here that I could talk to, but I'm just looking at everyone and they could be a potential risk of carrying COVID-19. So I kind of stay away from everyone. Yeah, I'm starting to talk to wasps. <laughs> they have nests near our campsite. And interestingly enough, they... It's just so interesting. They dig a hole and they live on the floor and they're wasps. They can fly, <laughs> they can go anywhere, but instead they live on the floor. I find that very interesting, which is kind of sad. So email me, any topic. It would be really nice to be able to talk to other people. Tommy has been freaking out over this thunder. There is a lot of thunder. Um, you might even hear in the background, the clouds are forming. I'll show you. A thunder cloud looks very thick and white, almost like a cotton ball. It's so dense, like you feel like you can grab a chunk like cotton candy. It's not as smooth and a uh, brush strokey like a normal cloud is and there was a bunch of them um, and it's been thundering so Tommy's hiding in the van Kalino is doing really well he has spent most of the day in the river because it's been so hot it's been so incredibly hot I don't know what to do with myself I just lie down in the bed and have the fan on me and take a nap <laughs> um, which is, I'm really lucky to do that because everyone around me is working so hard. We're in an indigenous community. They speak Nahuatl here and they work all day, whether it's like sweeping the floor, which takes time because everyone has dirt floors. And I might add, I've been getting into sweeping our dirt floor because it feels really nice and it makes it really nice and pretty after you sweep. It reminds me of the Japanese like sand raking. Um, it's similar, but it's very relaxing. Anyways, these ladies get up at like six o'clock in the morning, sweep their house, then they hand wash clothing. Having a washing machine here is a, like a novelty that not everyone has. So when someone gets a washing machine, it's a talk of the town. On top of that, everyone makes their own handmade tortillas which takes a really long time. They set up a fire, they have a fire oven, so they have to collect firewood beforehand. It is a lot of work. And these ladies also have a side business. They sell tamales. So we just bumped into the tamale lady. She sells tamales and tacos. But it's almost like everyone has a side hustle, which makes me just feel like kind of privileged that I get to come here and like chill where these ladies are just working so hard. Everyone here exports fruits of some kind. It's whenever it's fruit season, the, the ground here is just so fertile that they can like ship out tons of fruit, like literally tons, like in weight, a ton of mangoes, a ton of star fruit, uh, yeah, this place is very luscious. To give you an example of how luscious this place is, this is a guayava tree. A guava tree. And this is a good guava. It's nice and yellow. Um, I usually eat from this tree. And I'm gonna assume that it's clean because, I mean, pretty organic here. It's so organic that you kind of have to be careful when you bite into a fruit that you grab from a tree uh, because sometimes they have maggots inside uh, because they don't use pesticides which also makes me appreciate grocery bought fruit because you don't have to worry about uh, like um, worms coming out of your fruit. But let's see how this one is. Okay, yeah, it's clean. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I've had some really bad scares. Mm. So yes, life is good. If I don't go surfing, I'm usually just like taking rinses several times a day. Um, and the humidity is quite nice, but it's even better when it rains because when it rains, it just cools everything off so nicely. And there's been just beautiful lightning storms at night. Like, thankfully it doesn't thunder. These lightning storms are so far away into the distance that you don't hear the thunder but you can see the lightning flashes. So it's just like lightning flash after lightning flash into the ocean. Um, and this happens around midnight. I couldn't sleep last night, so I took this time lapse. And it's nice because without thunder, Tommy doesn't freak out. Poor Tom Tom, she's been really freaking out. Also, I just finished reading So You Wanna Talk About Race, which it just feels so good to finish a book. I'm so happy. I'm almost done with Sapiens. I'm 90% there. Um, but as a takeaway from So You Want to Talk About Race is that please do not rely on your friends' ethnicities and have them clarify stereotypes for you. For example, let's say I make a friend who's from India and then I start asking him all these questions because I want him to clarify, is that true? Do you really do that? How about this? What's the best way that I can refer to you? Don't do that. As someone who's Salvadoran, I get that a lot from like, oh, MS-13, are you part of the MS-13 gang? No, surprisingly, we're not all gang members. Things like that, like, just because we're a person of color doesn't mean we're your go-to person to clarify things for you. The best thing you can do is read a book about it um, because it's, it almost makes everyone an ambassador for their own ethnicity which um, kind of takes away from just like we're just all human you know we might have different cultures but we're in the end all the same literally we're all the same we all have the same genealogy we're all homo sapiens for example um, yes so that was the biggest takeaway and also another big takeaway is a way the best way to fight against racism is to vote in your local elections not just only for the big presidential elections but also locally because that's when your vote matters the most um the wind's picking up you guys can see behind me it's gonna start raining which feels so nice i love the rain it cools everything off so nicely wow yeah it might mess up the audio sorry if it sounds really bad now um, I need to get a mic, but I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, so it'll have to wait until I go to a place that has such things as electronics. But not here. Here, this place is full of cows, pigs, goats. So yes, I'll leave that there. Send me an email when I have internet. The internet is kind of spotty, so it comes and goes. Um, but when there is internet, it's pretty fast. It kind of goes away after a big storm, or there's usually never any internet in the morning for some reason. Um, but yeah, send me something. Stay safe. Keep your distance away from each other. Wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask because there is no one around me. Oh, I just learned. Guavas have more vitamin C than oranges. So I'm literally relying on this tree to give me vitamin C. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Adios.